what has your involvement been and what does the sustainable village mean to you? You know, why are you spending sure. so much time on it? Um, well, the beginning of my involvement with the sustainable village was the design competition. So um, I was on the team that we came up with the winning design. And it's actually been pretty interesting to see how close to the design um, we're sticking with. Fundamentally, it's the same with um, a shed roof, um, a walkout porch, basically what we had in mind. Um, some of the details that we didn't get into, um, that's where CCHRC helped us. But um, I guess I see the village as being maybe a vision for what um, circumpolar housing could be. The target is that these homes will be around 200,000 a piece. So that's pretty affordable. And they're super insulated, which um, is a break with a lot of the construction that we've done in Alaska um, in the past. So I think it's just kind of the next um, the evolution of housing. And what we learn here will be applicable to you know northern um, Europe, Scandinavia. Russia, so it'll be really interesting to see what happens. And it's also um, student housing, so there's that element, and so there's the educational element of um, learning a little bit more of how we can live um, efficiently in a cold region that is that we do have to put up with high energy cost and um, not a lot of sun. So this is a pretty innovative design. Have you learned any new construction techniques or approaches for um, building these homes? I would say I have. Um, some of like the basic framing stuff. Um, you know, little things like I've never used a router to cut out windows. I've always used a little skill saw and router seems to work pretty well. Um, once we get into more of the like installation stages, that'll be stuff that I've never done. On the, remote, on the two remote houses, we'll be putting up eight inches of foam um, in contrast to, um, like, that's a lot. Uh, the most I've ever done is four inches. Mm -hmm. So that'll be a little bit differently. And then one of the houses here is the spray foam, and I've never done that. So that means we have to build the wall out a little bit and then fill that cavity with spray foam. So that'll be something new. Do you have any personal goals for this summer, what you'd like to get out of this project? Sure, my, my personal goal is just to learn more. Um, I've built homes for the last few years, and um, but you can always get better, um, you can always get faster. Um, maybe take on a little bit more responsibility with you know, being involved in the layout. And um, yeah, just my goal is to learn more.